Hey guys, before we get into this week's episode, I just wanted to let you know that I have actually extended the date for the giveaway of the Panzera watch. So now I'll be announcing the winner this coming Thursday, which means that you have two more days to enter and win this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous timepiece. All you have to do, click the link in the description that tells you exactly how to enter. It's super simple, it's free. So do it right now and win this gorgeous watch. Good luck. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, it's just gone six o'clock in the morning, and I'm out for my morning walk. As you can see, there are some beautiful views behind me, and that is because I moved house. And so this has now become my little morning ritual. I wake up, I make a cup of tea, and I come for a walk down the beach. So come with me, let's go check it out. It has been the craziest two weeks of my life, I think. Uh, moved house, launched a new clothing line, shameless plug. If you guys haven't been to swords.com, please go check it out. Support the brand, support the channel. Uh, you were awesome with the orders. First three days we sold out of all the hoodies, so I had to restock them. They should be back in tomorrow, I believe. Uh, but you can still pre-order those anyway, uh, and we'll just ship them to you as we get them. Um, but yeah, you guys killed it. So thank you so much for the support. And if you haven't checked it out, please make sure you do. There'll be a link in the description. Wow, look at that American flag. That's cool. The houses down here are just gorgeous. Uh, so anyway, today is the first day that I've really had a chance to decompress. And so I figured that while I'm just kind of taking a day to chill, why not bring you along with me? Let's go and explore the area. So we'll start right here and we will check out the beach because this is what I've been doing every morning. Make a cup of tea, come down here. Oh, it's just such a great way to start the day. And then from there, we'll just go for a little explore. There's some cool driving roads, there's some hiking trails, there's more beaches. So yeah, there's really no plan. We're just gonna go with it and see where the day takes us. And I couldn't be more happy about that. Uh, also, let's address the elephant in the room, the old chrome dome. So my coronavirus hair got way out of control and I just got to the point where I was like, can't deal with it anymore. I used to shave my head when I was 20, when I was riding motorbikes a lot and couldn't be dealing with helmet hair. And so I was like, that's the life for me again. So yeah, shaved it and uh, quite, I'm quite pleased considering I did it with my ball trimmers. It's actually turned out pretty good and no weird rashes or spots. So I think we're good in all aspects of life. So that's something to be thankful for. But anyway, the beach is like another 20 seconds this way. So let's go down there. And look at this French chateau. Gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. And this is my new neighborhood. It's, I'm talking quiet because it's still early in the morning. I don't want to wake people up, but I can't believe that this is my neighborhood. Like, in the time it's taken me to talk to you, I've walked here from my house. Well, shit, this sucks. So this was the only beach in the area that was open, and now they've closed it. So that's a real shame, because this is like a little local beach. Not many people knew about it, and so it was great to just come down here, for, especially this time in the morning. There was nobody here. Ah, oh, but they've closed it. Well, what also sucks is the fact that I was going to go diving later because there's going to be a high tide just around sunset, so it would have been perfect to jump in the water. But it looks like we can't do it. All right, well, shift and move and figure out another plan. very disappointed that they've closed that beach. Now, I understand that you gotta keep people safe and all, but realistically, that was a little locals beach. There was never anyone there. And so you could stay safe. You didn't have to be around people. In fact, you were safer there than you were just walking down the street. And here in Orange County, they seem to be a little bit more open with the way that they're doing things. And so you are allowed to come out in public, but they have stuff like this walkway that I'm on now, this path. This is a one way. So I can only walk this way. To come down, I have to go on the other side of the street. And what that means is that you're not crossing paths with people, which is great, that's the way it should be. So that's sensible, you know, that's a sensible way to deal with the problem. I think the issue comes when everybody goes on total lockdown and people go stir crazy and then you get people rebelling against it because the restrictions were too tight in the first place. When actually what we need to do is all take responsibility, all be sensible 
And what risk are we posing right now? Zero, absolutely zero risk, but I'm able to get out, I'm able to do my exercise, I'm able to get that morning fix of the beach, which it's closed now, so that's, uh, <laughs> you saw it as I found out, that's really, really made me sad because that was such an important part of my morning ritual and now I can't do it. So hopefully it won't be for too long. Uh, and like I said, I was gonna go diving later, so maybe that's gonna have to go on hold too. But anyway, let's look at the positives. Look at the roses here. Look at the absolutely beautiful landscaping. And this is one of the side streets. Wait till we get to the big ones. If you're not into gorgeous houses and landscaping, I apologize, fast forward, but I am. I like UFC, I like kicking people in the face, and I like flowers, so deal with it. Look at that cathedral over there. Wow, that is something special. And I love the fact that the homes are so different. There's so many different varieties here. You've got the single story ones, you've got the huge muck mansions as they're called, and then everything in between. So it's really nice to see the variation and walking through the neighborhood. You're like, oh, I like that one. And oh, if you took that one and put it there. Like, look at this house here that looks like a barn. Just really, really pretty. And oh my God, the smell. Seriously, the first time I walked down these streets, I felt like I was on a movie set because it smells amazing. It looks amazing. All the houses look like, actually, if you went behind them, there'd be nothing there. But I promise you there is because look, there's one being built. The reason that I moved to Orange County is because way back, let's go all the way back to when I was 15 years old and the show The O.C. came about. And when that show launched, I started watching it and I fell in love with the thought of living here around by the beach where I could go down and I could get into fights with jocks who were mean to my nerdy friends and I just, I just loved everything about it. <laughs> you know what I like about rich kids? <laughs> Nothing. There was just something about the lifestyle, the surfing in the morning, I can't surf for shit, surfing in the morning, being down by the beach, living outdoors, just, I don't know, it, as a 15 year old kid, it resonated with me. And now as a 31 year old, old man, it still resonates with me. And so it got to the point where I was looking to where I could go for university and I was looking at maybe coming and studying in Santa Monica. That didn't happen. Then I got my career going. So I just never got the opportunity to move. And then I turned 27 and I was like, right, if I don't do it now, I'm never gonna do it. I'm never gonna have the opportunity. And so that was it. I moved out here, not to Orange County. I moved to Venice Beach. Well, Marina Del Rey, then Venice Beach. Then I moved to Hermosa. And now I've finally made it. I'm finally here in Orange County and it's awesome. And I think the reason why I always wanted to come down here is because it's like a very slow, relaxing, hey little birdie, Psst, this little guy. Psst, psst. Hi bud, <laughs> what are you doing? Nice to meet you, have a nice day. Yeah, the pace of life here is different and the air feels different because it's not LA smog and it's just, it's hard to, to describe, but I'm pretty sure that you'll get what I mean just by what the neighborhood looks like. And so eventually I knew I was gonna move south. The house that I just moved into came up and it was absolutely ideal. So I was like, hey, do you know what? Let's do it. So we moved down here and I'm definitely not regretting that decision. I can't wait to explore and just see what it's like because this is a totally new area. I'm gonna have to make new friends. I'm gonna have to find new places to go eat. Obviously once everything quietens down, but yeah, it's just so exciting to me. It's like a new chapter of my life and I'm really, really, really looking forward to being able to explore and yeah, make a, make a new life down here. But it's just different down in Orange County and I love to do diving obviously and there's plenty of diving here compared to up in uh, LA. And so yeah, I'm very pleased with my decision. And I finally realized that dream as myself, of myself, as me, my dream as a 15 year old boy, that one day I will live in Orange County. And now I do. And now I'm walking around the neighborhoods looking at the flowers and enjoying myself like an 80 year old man. <laughs> so it is funny how life happens guys, but I think the takeaway from that is that sometimes dreams take a while to realize and never give up, never give up on your dreams and never give up on if you really want something bad, if you really, really, really want it, you can get it. You absolutely can. You just got to work for it. And that's something that I've realized. And right now it seems comfortable. It seems easy but the road to get here wasn't. And so if you are working towards something, never forget that, you will reach that goal. And when you get there, you'll look back and go, huh, that wasn't so bad. But actually you've got to put in the legwork. You've got to put in the hustle because when you're in the weeds and you're really going for it and everything seems like it's on top of you, just know that you will have this moment. You will have this point where you go, 
I made it. I made it. I promise you. God, it's very deep, wasn't it? Hey, who'd have thought a skinhead could have deep thoughts? I walk past this old Mercedes turbo diesel every day, and I think every day I fall a little bit more in love with it. And a wagon too. <laughs> oh, and another thing, update on the Mercedes. The engine hath gone to the Hollywood mechanic. Micah now has the engine, so he's now stripping that down. We're gonna clean it up. Then Luke from Diesel Pump UK is gonna be sending me over the tuning package that he's already done the manifold. He has the turbo in mind and we're just working out a quick spool system that will allow it to basically make boost way quicker than usual with a turbo of that size. So that should be exciting, but big plans for the Mercedes. I was talking to Micah about it the other day and we have some ridiculous ideas. So yeah, stay tuned for that one. Alrighty then, so I have formulated a plan and the plan looks like this. Driving roads are very important to me. I wanted to know where the best driving roads were in Orange County, so I did a little bit of research and I found a couple of blogs recommending some roads about 30 minutes from here. So that, excuse my radar detector, that is where we're gonna go. We're gonna go and check out these two canyon roads. Uh, I forgot what they're called, but I'll tell you a little bit later. And yeah, we're gonna go for a cruise up there, check them out. It's about a three hour loop from here all the way back home again. So that's a, that's a pretty good drive. So we're gonna do that. That'll get us back here sort of mid afternoon, early mid afternoon. And then we've still got tons of time before the sun sets. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. Let's go and check out some good driving roads. And we will get the roof off this in a second, I promise. First of all, though, gotta get fuel and I just need a little bit of air conditioning because it is warm today. Well, how's this? This is the start of uh, the road. In fact, let me tell you what it's called. Let me tell you what it's called. Let's do this properly, Swordsy. So right now we're on uh, Santiago Canyon Road and we're heading to Majesca, Majesca, M-O-D-J-E-S-K-A, Majesca Canyon Road. Uh, and basically, yeah, it's just this cool like winding road through all of this countryside, which is awesome actually, because it's a lot different to how it looks in uh, like Malibu or even up in Angeles Crest. It's a lot more green, a lot lush, lot, a lot lush, a lot lusher. Um, so yeah, I've never driven it before. It kind of winds up this way and then goes up. And then we have another canyon road that heads inland even further. And it actually ends up going out towards Riverside County. So um, pretty, pretty nice loop. I mean, like I said, this whole loop will take about three hours if you do it properly. Um, and so that's what we're gonna do today. But the Z3 is looking glorious. I've just taken the roof off. And so now I'll try not to burn the old chrome dome. So yeah, we're just gonna go check out this road and see if it's as fun as the roads are in LA. I think it will be. I also need a Wii. Where can I go? is that you get that like MX-5, whoa, look at that view. So like I was saying, the MX-5 is really fun, nimble, lightweight. It is not a fast car. It is a car that you have to drive flat out all the time to make it fun, but it does handle incredibly well. The Z3 has that similar kind of handling, only when you put suspension on it. 
when I first got this, the suspension was garbage. Once you put some nice BC Racing coilovers on it, then it handles like an MX-5, but it has plenty of power. So it's a different experience, really. I think if I had to choose just one, uh, the Z3 and the MX-5, I would go for the Z3 because it has just that little bit more power. I also do prefer how they look. Um, yeah, they, they definitely this is what I would choose. locally owned businesses, a lot smaller. You've got like a little steakhouse there. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know where this leads, but hey, we're on an adventure. We're gonna find out one way or the other. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this is absolutely brilliant. Just out here in the middle of nowhere, tons of these old American cars old classics Ford Folks RS and a Corvette there's, there's a lot of cool cars here I just love doing stuff like this no agenda get in the car go for a drive get lost and then just put your sat nav on to take you home because you never know what you'll find I roughly know the route that I'm going to take but if I see a road like this I'll take it why not I haven't got anywhere to be it's my day off I'm just chilling and this is how I relax this this is my idea of social distancing. Just me, in the car, out, having a little drive around and finding new places. Because then, hopefully, when social distancing isn't a thing, I can come and I can actually enjoy some of these places more. So they had a murdered out G-Wagon as well as that Suburban thing. So you come down here expecting to see old beat up trucks and country stuff. He's got a rock climbing wall. What a wicked little place, little old Land Rover. Where am I? This is like, this is like a car enthusiast's country retreat, is what this seems like. That's awesome. So this right here is Lake Elsinore and this is the largest freshwater lake in Southern California. That's cool, huh?
I'm done with the drive, now it's time to walk. And we've just had to go up this hoofing great big hill. And this is only the beginning. So we're gonna do a little hike. Got Caitlin Taylor Row here, wearing our matching school uniforms. And uh, again, just a shameless plug, if you haven't already, go to swords.com, get yourself some sweet swords merch. Um, but yeah, so, God, I'm so out of breath. Side of breath. <laughs> so out of breath, okay. <laughs> So we're going to go and try and do this hike that may or may not be closed. We're not even to the trail yet and we're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this trail basically goes around the back of the house, goes up into the hills and then comes down and along PCH. So it's nice, it's about 7.7 .7 miles. Did I tell you that? You didn't tell me It's 7.7 .7 miles. <laughs> we go, I think, 4,000 feet in elevation. <laughs> I don't think it's that much. And uh, yeah, we basically just do this little loop. So we figure while I'm exploring the neighborhood and beyond, why not check out what's right on our doorstep? Get him back, lizard whisperer. We can have him as a friend for Harry. Oh, didn't stand a chance. Turtles? I don't, there's no turtles in California. I don't think so. I think that's a Florida thing. I missed him and I dribbled. That'd be nice, wouldn't it, to have like one of these up on the hill. How do you even get there? Um, so it's an estate that you get into from the back. It's where the rich people live. Yeah, we don't live there. Swords.com. Get your swords match. Oh, you put your jumper as well. You get your swords underpants on. <laughs> Just kidding, she hasn't got any on. Oh, so many things touching me. There's things in the grass. I'm gonna have ticks. <laughs> That's a nice bush there, Mr. Bumblebee. but don't let it touch me because there's things on it. Hey little bunny. It's okay. Okay, bye then. Oh God. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, actually there's a dry bit around the edge. <laughs> All right, we're having a jog. Katie's having a bounce. <laughs> this is the first time I've run in about 10 years. I gotta stop. Alright, that's enough. On a 1 to 10, how sweaty am I? 11. 11? <laughs> okay. Well, I apologise for the sweat, but it's really fun because where we are right now in the foothills of like the big spendy houses up in the hills here in Newport, this is where the OC was set in those gated communities. And so to be hiking these trails and see like houses like this one up here is just really cool. I'd rather be living in one, which I'm working on. I nearly trod on that lizard. Look at him. Are you just coming with us? Come on then, buddy. Let's go. Come on. Okay, bye then. And as I said before, this has been sweated in, bled on, oiled up, pulled around, traveled in, slept in, everything. And it still looks cool. <laughs> I don't think I'm vegan anymore. So we think we've almost made it out of here. We've just got to get up onto the road and then we've basically got the same length of walk, but just down and then along. Just up, just, just, up. Then just up there. We stopped halfway up to have a little drink because this is steep. <laughs> Doesn't look it, but it's steep. And also the barking spiders up here. Oh. The trail ended about there 
and then it turned into a drainage ditch. So I think we have to take this little less beaten path up there because the road is just behind that house. So regardless, we've only got to go about another 200 feet, 300 feet and we're there. We did it, look. Did it burns. We did it, kind of. <laughs> now we've got to get through this. Hello. Yee! Not many people know that Pelican Hill was actually uh, created back in the Roman times and this viaduct is one of the oldest remaining viaducts from the Roman era. Did you know that? Here you go again. This is one of the last relics of the Roman Empire still standing in immaculate condition. This is actually more rare than the Colosseum. Okay, thank you. It is though. I believe you, I believe everything. She doesn't say. believe me. She doesn't believe anything I say. <laughs> that right there, Roman relic. And what they used to do is back in the day, um, the dolphin meat trade was huge here. And so what they would do is they would harvest the dolphins from the ocean. Well, they called it the Great Lake at the time because they didn't know it was the ocean. So they called it the Great Lake. Um, L Lagoon is uh, Roman for lake, which is why <laughs> this was then called Laguna Beach. And then they had a port here. And then actually what happened is it burnt down in, burnt down. in the fire of... I did read that. It was the fire of um, 805. And because it burned down, they had to build a new port. And so that's why that's called Newport, because that's where it went. And so what they would do is they would process the dolphins down here, and then they would ship them up the viaduct. They would go uphill, up the viaduct, up to here, which was the main dolphin processing plant the main and like retail outlet as well and then it would get flown out all across the world from there i'm so fortunate to have you back to rome knowledge. yeah there you go okay. so this isn't all just adventures and frolics this is a learning channel because i am a learned person <laughs> i have read many books i have a private education i did graduate university in media production which is basically like hair and makeup or beauty so a little update, uh, we're walking on the road because we can't find the path. <laughs> you can't see it because the sun's too bright behind it, but that is beautiful. Oh, that's KTM Adventure, that's what I want. <gasps> that's the new one though. You want everything. No, no, I really want that one though. That's fucking so nice. Yeah, that's what I want, I want one of those. All right. Noted. And then we can go on adventures. I'll take one of those, one of those, one of those. And now because we're gluttons for punishment, we are going to ride the electric bikes to Newport and hopefully catch the end of the sunset. I think it probably will have already gone all the way down, but we're going to see if we can uh, at least catch some of it. You got to pray for us that our batteries last because we're not sure if they will. They should do. I mean, it's not that far. Uh, babe, look, here's another viaduct. It's another, Ro it's another Roman viaduct. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where the dolphins were put in at. This, yeah, this is one of the dolphin viaducts. Yeah, see, you thought I was lying, but there's just... Re I do, I never doubted. There's Roman relics everywhere. So that house actually belonged to one of the, uh, the main dolphins. Dolphin owners, yeah. Ooh, it looks pretty. So I doubt we'll make it all the way to the beach before the sun sets, but we can get onto the peninsula, Balboa Peninsula. Uh, we'll go across a little bridge and then we can watch it from there, or at least watch the sky anyway, even if we can't see the sun go down over the ocean. But what a great place to live. I loved it where I was before, don't get me wrong. I really enjoyed it there, but it just feels different here. I feel like I've kind of leveled up. So yeah, very, very happy. And I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along and checking out some of the sites for the first time with me. That's beautiful. Why don't we, uh, why don't we pull over here and take a look? Stay in this moment forever 
so I can hold you in my arms. Well guys, that is gonna wrap it up for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have enjoyed today. Uh, it's been great just kind of getting around the area and exploring, finding new roads to drive. Unfortunately, we couldn't dive the beach, but it's fine. They will reopen and we will get to do some diving and we've got to see this epic sunset. So look at that little Fiat. Look how cool that is. Look at this as well. <laughs> so fun. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a lot to be done around here. There's a lot to check out, a lot to see. So yeah, we're very much excited about exploring some more. But if you haven't already, wait, I've got to go into my spiel, haven't I? If you haven't already, subscribe it's been a while since i've done this i forgot what i have How to say it like when was my last actual video where i went out because i did the podcast the last week the merch yeah the merch that was two weeks ago anyway if you've enjoyed this please make sure that you subscribe i would love to see you here again give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it that really helps please support swords merch as well go and grab yourself a t-shirt a hoodie a crew neck whatever you like they've got they they it's my <laughs> stuff we <laughs> I'm so out of shape, out of practice. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I've just done an eight mile accidental hike and I'm really, really hungry. Swords.com for the clothing. Go and pick yourself some stuff up there. We do free shipping on orders over $75 to the US. Free shipping on orders over $150 worldwide. So go get yourself some stuff. Um, go subscribe to the podcast, which I have now. Uh, iTunes, Spotify, any of those things. Adam's Words Podcast, you'll find it. Uh, follow me on Twitch if you like watching somebody play computer games badly and stream it. That's me. Uh, yeah, and I think for now, that's it. We might get ourselves all Duffy at some point as well because they're really cool. Just little electric boats that you can just go putt around the harbour on. That looks so fun. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. That's what I did in my This Is Why I Moved To California episode. We went out on Nick's oh Duffy. God. Yeah, so there's that as well. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. So anyway, guys, like, subscribe, do the things, follow me on Instagram, blah, 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 blah. I appreciate you so much. And until next time. Don't do anything Adam wouldn't do. I nailed it. You did nail it. <laughs> See you guys.